Hey guys, it's Vera, and I have been out of action for a couple of days, and I have not opened any packs in those days, and damn, do I miss cracking some packs. So I, um, I was going through my open, my open box stash, you know, looking for a couple packs, and, um, I, f I found a pack. I don't know if you, uh, you've guessed it. You probably haven't. Maybe you have. Damn, look at that. Look at that magic designed by Richard Garfield. <laughs> Today I'm going to open up a pack of Rise of the Eldrazi. Whew, we got some pretty artworks in this set. I just kind of reached into the box and picked a pack, and this is the one that um that I picked. I really love Rise of the Eldrazi. You know, just just look at this. God, just look at this. Oh, all right. I'm just going to uh I'm just gonna get right into it because it's been a a long time since I've opened any Rise of the Eldrazi. I probably haven't opened one of these packs in at least a year. So, yeah. Oh god. The 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 actually good pack pack quality. Look at this. Look at this. I can't even open it. I'm just I feel like maybe I'm not trying my hardest. I can't I can't find my exacto knife. Hello. Well, I guess I'll have to find it after. I um I can't. I don't want to particularly rip any of the cards in, so I'm just gonna cut it because um, you guys will have something to laugh at. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. All right, all right, all right. One thing I've always loved about Rise of the Eldrazi, by the way, by the way, is a set symbol. Oh, it's always just, it's just so classic. It's just so simple, yet nice and classy. I don't know how to explain it. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go through this. I'm kind of trying to appreciate the artworks a little bit more, you know, in this pack compared to other pack openings that I do. First card is a Gloom Hunter. Look at that. Whew. Imagine that in foil. Have you guys ever seen one of these in foil? You probably have. I'm sure one of you at least has. I've never seen this in foil. Eh, it's not the best card. Scavengers, both mundane and magical, follow in its wake, feeding on the scraps of flesh and spirit it leaves behind. Oh, well. Okay. A flying 2-1 for 3. Okay. Flame Slash. Flame Slash is such a good card. A one cost red sorcery and deals four damage to target creature. Mm, guys, this is a um, lightning bolt. Who? Knights of Cliffhaven. Knight of Cliffhaven? Mm. I said I said it plural, guys. Look at that art. That's a that's a pretty art. It's almost it's almost Therese Nielsen type of feel. She's got this whimsical feel to her art. So I don't know. I can relate to her art a lot. It's very, it's very pretty. A lizard. Oh, damn. He looks, he looks like my cat when I don't feed my cat. Soul's Attendant. Hey, it's Prescott. Pretty nice art. There are a lot of cards in this set that have a lot of flavor text. Look at this. Well, that, that's a, a vanilla, but okay. You know, look at that. We got this wall of flavor text here and the abilities are just so good because they're so plain and simple naturalize oh i love it scorpion Ooh. the art the art feel in this set uh one thing that i've always noticed about it is it always just feels so like spiky and so like straight to the point like straight edge like it's it's never it's not cartoony but it's not whimsical it's it's amazing i don't know i don't know how to explain it scuttler Ooh. Another one. Another creature. Harmless Assault. Very nice. Look at that angel. Ooh. What angel's that? I don't know. I feel like I, I know that. Maybe not. Wrap in Flames. The War Diaries. Our pyromancer's flames may not have killed them, but they bought us ba time back we needed. Damn, I, I messed that one up. Alright, so into the Uncommons. Whew, uncommons. Warmonger's Chariot. Soulbound Guardians. Surreal Memoir. Look at that eyeball. Look at that eyeball. It's like, hello? Do you see me? Hello? There's a lot of eyeball artworks in Magic that I don't see in any other games. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh, there's no eyeball art. I mean, even in, even in, like, Dragoborn, you know, we've got Cyclopses and stuff, but there's not a lot of, like, eyeballs. Like, just... Just plain eyeballs out of the sockets, you know? Maybe it freaks people out. Maybe they try to, you know, not bother people with that kind of stuff. You know, fears and stuff. And, whew, 
Ooh, Genesis. <laughs> Not bad at all. XX. Green. Sorcery. Put X. XX. Green ooze tokens onto the battlefield. This card's really good. I love this card. I've used this card in a couple different commander decks, and it's so fun. I don't know. It's so fun. It's just... I don't know. I love ooze creatures. So, fun fact, one of the first creatures that I ever based a deck around was an was scavenging ooze. I don't I don't know why. I built like this commander deck around scavenging ooze and it had just a bunch of oozes and it was green and it had a little bit of black. You know, fun fact. And oh god, the beautiful island. Oh, I wish this was foil first of all. Uh this is one of my favorite arts. I don't know. I just the Eldrazi theme just it gets me. Like, I love the Hedrons, I love, I love the creatures, I just, it's always just such a theme that I could totally relate with. Like, look at that, that is gorgeous. Oh, I don't know. And a rules tip totem armor. If only they gave these out. FNM, rule every Friday night, score premium cards and meet new players each week with Friday night magic events. Magic the Gathering here, I rule. Oh, rest in peace. Whew. I hear FNMs aren't doing that good lately. Maybe you guys should put in little cards like this. What do you think, Watsy? But, guys, I'm ending on the island. Island best card. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this opening. We got a Genesis. Not that bad. You know? If you guys like the Eldrazi, what is your favorite set that focuses on Eldrazi? Let me know down in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys again really soon.